Hi there, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness here in the WNWO Weather Center. And we thank you for finding today's web weather forecast. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar and satellite picture. We have a very typical clipper system moving through the area here uh, tonight. And the way the jet stream has set itself up here uh, with our latest outbreak of some very cold Arctic air moving across the Great Lakes, the orientation of the jet stream is going to be in such a place that we're going to see these disturbances come through at a fairly rapid clip over the next uh, several days. So it's almost like a little pea shooter sitting up there in Canada throwing these things at us. Each time one rolls by, we get another shot for some light snow. I don't think there's any major accumulations in all of this over the next several days, but little amounts add up. And when you have the very cold weather in place, which you can see on our temperature map, you throw in additionally the component of some wind and that light snow is going to be difficult and cause difficulties for travel over the next several days. Only make it up into the lower teens for high temperatures today, and it looks like we'll be back down below zero again tonight, or I, I should say over the next couple of days. Tonight will stay probably a good 10 to 20 degrees warmer in many spots. Our overnight lows in the upper single digits, maybe even close to 10 degrees in a few spots, so numbers not really moving all that much as we head through the nighttime. But the light snow will continue, and by sunrise tomorrow morning, we're looking at another one, maybe two inches in a few local spots of new fresh snow. Now, as we go into the day, tomorrow, the backside of the disturbance moving through could be good for another one to three inches of snow as we head through the daylight hours of our Thursday. High temperatures climbing into the mid teens, so staying cold here as we head through the next several days. We get a little bit of a break as we go through Thursday night into the daylight hours of our Friday, but by the time we get into Friday night, Saturday morning, another system moving through that one early call, maybe anywhere from two to four inches of new snow by the time it winds up going through midday on Saturday. Some additional light snow will be possible as we head through the day on Sunday. Some flurries on Monday, but look at the temperatures just staying very, very cold over the next several days. So as Angie, as, uh, as we have been mentioning in our newscast, that propane shortage for some uh, really uh, getting into a difficult situation. Notice too, as we head through next week, numbers still very, very cold with highs only in the teens on Monday or Tuesday and Wednesday of next week with another shot at some snow by the time we get into the end portions of the following week. So cold and snow will be the rule through the next several days. Hang in there, folks. Spring is but just a couple of months away. I'm Chief Meteorologist Norm Van Ness. Thanks for finding today's web weather forecast.